very welcome back. Earlier on this morning, we met the lovely Louise Bowles, a busy mum of three who spent all of her time looking after everyone else and not enough time on herself. Well, today is the start of a brand new chapter. Here's a quick reminder of what she looked like when she arrived into our studios this morning. A little bit nervous, a little bit apprehensive, didn't know what to expect, um, but she's been a great sport and I know that our glam squad have been very busy all morning and it's time now for the big reveal. So come on out, Louise. So excited to see you. Oh my goodness, <laughs> the style. Oh, Louise, you look absolutely beautiful. You did earlier on anyway, <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed our spoiling session today. It's been absolutely fantastic and oh. the tips were great. Well, that's the main thing, isn't it? Being able yeah. to bring the tips home with you and just transfer them to your life and make them work for you. Let's talk through everything that we're seeing here. Rob, we mentioned earlier on Louise is hoping to turn, return to work after Christmas. We were going for a smart look, but nothing too stuffy. Yes, yeah, so we had a little look at work where we wanted to go with something that was kind of quite contemporary as well and something that she can bring into her everyday life at the moment. So she's heading away on a weekend this weekend. So we thought kind of give her something that's kind of nice for the weekend. We've gone with this gorgeous look here. The jacket, it's kind of a retro leather jacket again I mentioned earlier on waterfall is a great shape for Louise so we've gone with that kind of waterfall style collar to it gorgeous um, top there and it's kind of got that pleated detail to it and it's dropping down at the waist that's going to be great for body shape there as well and then we went with a pair of skinny black jeans the look is coming from Carrick Dunn um, and then we went with these gorgeous shoes which are from Dunn stores they're from gallery at Dunn stores Really gorgeous. And a great block heel as well. Uh, Louise is very lucky. She's gorgeous slim legs. Yeah. Didn't think, but it works, that the top being so long would work on someone so petite. Yeah, it does. It works because, the, do you see at the front of it, it's kind of going up and then down at the okay. back. So it's longer at the back, shorter at the front. So that's going to work really well um, for someone who is petite with that. And then you can see the shoes there, gorgeous pair of shoes. They're from Dunn Stores. They're 25 euro. Really nice tortoise shell to the back of them there as well. Mm. And that rust. Um, there and then accessory wise we've just gone with the animal print bag there to the side of it. Louise tell me about your love or hatred of heels. Are you a heels lady? <laughs> no definitely <laughs> not. So I would be similar to you in that just find too tricky to walk in for long periods of time. How about the block heel? Are they comfy? Block heel is great okay. and these are really comfortable. So it works for you? Yeah yeah definitely. No they're really stylish as well. Yeah it's great. With it and they work with the outfit. She said she likes block heels and she wouldn't walk in anything else so we right. didn't She's force her into them. You. <laughs> she said she'd do it. Uh, let's move on to the hair now, Tori. Earlier on, you were showing us how to blow dry the side fringe. Mm -hmm. Louise's hair, it was always gorgeous. She's lucky. She's beautiful, lustrous, thick she's hair. fabulous hair, yeah. But this colour is sensational. So, oh, thank you, Laura. Um, the colour is actually a home colour. It's Schwarzkopf Colour Expert, and it comes with, I, I mentioned before, it comes with an Omega Plex formula that goes in. So it seals the cuticle, gives that gorgeous shine. So it's, they're really rich colours. Um, they're actually two for 14 euros in boots at the moment, which is good, because I used two colours on Louise. I used um, a, just a flat brown on the roots, and then I used something a little bit richer on the ends, because if you've naturally grey hair, if you go putting anything that's too warm on the roots, they can glow or go pink, as Louise said. It's happened to her before. <laughs> Louise, has yes. that happened to you before? Yes, yes. it has. So <laughs> if you're doing home colour yourself at home, Laura, and you're going for a rich colour, just be careful not to put anything too warm on grey, because okay. it can go pink. And then I blow dried her hair using the Lanai Blow, which is the new chrome one that you saw. Mm -hmm. They come personalised, which is really cool. So mine has my Very name on fancy. it. Um, but it's it's really good because it's like a professional hair dryer that you can use at home. So it's really quick. Um, it leaves anti-static. So for this sort of mirror-like look, you don't want any like little frizzy bits. So it keeps all them down as well. So um, and the blunt cut really and the works blunt for her. Cut, yes. So the blunt cut I did because. Her hair hadn't been cut in a while, so it was kind of quite dry at the ends. Also, she'd been away, so it had bleached up a lot. So I really enjoyed cutting it into a nice blunt cut. And then she hadn't had a side fringe before. And I just thought that it's just, it's a little bit more youthful. It's softer mm. around the face. Sometimes if you do that bob look, it can be quite severe sometimes on some people. But I think, I think Louise carries the side fringe really well and I think it suits her. Do you think this is a look that you'd be able to achieve at home in terms of your hair? Because you, you've naturally gorgeous, thick, straight hair anyway. So hopefully with a minimum of effort. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> You'll have to let me know when you get on. Oh, you will, Louise. Moving on to the makeup. Ken, earlier on you demonstrated um, something so small as a yeah. little bit of 
pale eyeshadow mm -hmm. inside the socket can really open up the eyes. And we Absolutely. were chatting about it. It's great seeing all these fabulous tips on social yeah. media with 20 year olds doing makeup, but that's not, you know, the reality for most of us. No, it's not. So, no. Um, and yet, Louise's skin is luminous. So, mm. what foundation did you use again? Remind us. So, I used um, all of the products I used today are from my own range, uh, Makeup Play, uh, which is available online. Um, and the foundation I use is the HD foundation, high definition foundation. So, it's just a very small amount. She's great skin underneath all that slap. Um, <laughs> she's got good skin. Yeah, so you can we, see that. we, I just use a very small amount of it, and I highlighted the cheekbones. Um, I so I contoured them a little very lightly. You know, contouring is a big thing that young ones like. But you know, and can we use can it at any age? Mm -hmm. Can we use contouring at any age? Absolutely, but just a little bit of mild contouring. Don't be going hell for leather and looking like a you know a zebra crossing as you walk down the street. <laughs> but just um, a little bit of uh, of contour with blusher and bronzer and uh, a little bit of shimmer. And then I think the the best thing on her was um, her. She never uses colour on her lip, and I thought with the whole sort of um, beige and browns and so on, it would be nice to add a pop of colour. So we did with the lipstick, which is called Jezebel, and um, suits you down to the ground. And, um, it looks lovely on her, and I think you really liked it, didn't you? I do. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, yeah. it's love sort it. of a light um, red, but with a touch of rosy yeah. pink. Yeah, it's a sort of a berry shade pink. It's, it's really it's lovely for winter time, and with the crap weather we have outside, well, it's great true. for that. You know? Why did you, personal question, ask? Yeah. Uh, why did you not choose a brown lipstick? That'd be the obvious. Choice. Um, I much? thought that with the because of the brown outfit and and uh, and uh, uh, it would just if I put a brown on the lips the lips would sort have of completely mm -hmm. disappeared because she's 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 got lips but yeah. they're not huge yeah. so putting a bit of colour on them will just make them that little the bit bigger. The pop of colour yeah. that makes yeah. absolute sense. We do yeah. have Louise in another outfit. Uh, yeah. We took a couple of photos of her earlier on and this is a different look. Rob, beautiful dress. It's sort of this sports looks. Yeah. Louise was staying away from patterns in the past, but this pattern really suits her. Yeah, we kind of tackle it straight ahead on with this look here so we went all print with it gorgeous kind of sports looks vibes to it there and um, with that piping and then it's a-line which a-line is great for body shape mm -hmm. and for someone who's petite an a-line dress is going to suit you that's a gorgeous look it's from pamela scott okay um, so good look. to keep an eye out yes. for that's a bit more of a dressy look so tori mm -hmm. is it possible to get a wave in louise's hair or is it too short oh definitely you could yeah so what i would do in that case i would use a wand and i would do it so holding the handle downwards okay so wrap your hair coming down the wand the shape of the wand so that you kind of just get like a nice similar to your own or like a ripple more so you don't want it to be curly and spring yeah. it up so just more so a ripple on the outside of course okay. you can yeah definitely lovely. manageable Gorgeous. with short hair yeah good to know and finally uh, ken if louise was going out for a night out and she was wearing a dress like that how are you going to make the eyes or the lips or something else a little bit different from uh, daytime? you know what from taking a, a, um, a look from day to night is really simple get a black eyeliner line the inside rim of the water margin of your eye um, if you can do it, throw some false lashes on, you know, individual yeah. ones yourself, which are really easy to do mm. yourself. The strips are a little bit more difficult. Change the lip colour, you know, put a, maybe a, a stronger, darker lip, maybe a red or something on. And then once again, highlight the, the skin a little bit more. But that's all you have to do. You know, just a couple of things. Learning how to put on your makeup is probably the most important thing that, that you can possibly do. Well, you that's know? it. And that's what Louise was saying, that she wanted to get some yeah. tips and tricks from yeah. our expert panel today. Yeah. And you have succeeded. She looks absolutely <laughs> beautiful but most importantly Louise I hope you've enjoyed the experience you've had a very tough time uh, recently with the loss of your lovely mum Lily and I have no doubt that she would be delighted mm. that you were being spoiled rotten today and we couldn't take that outfit away from you is that right Rob? <laughs> no Swords Pavilions have gifted this outfit to Louise so you oh, can go out right you. now what is it course to 11 <laughs> time to go out and party <laughs> and you've got some other gifts oh, here then I've given you a hair dryer that says Louise on it Fantastic. and also uh, Mane and Taylor giving you a gorgeous goodie box which is really heavy um, <laughs> and it has lovely shampoos and conditioners in oh, it for thank you. Well, you're easy today. I can has extra goodies so as well. So I've given, I've been the most generous out of <laughs> um, So I've item. got brushes from me and you've got makeup from me and Maybelline has thrown in some stuff, the lovely people at Maybelline and Urban Decay. And this is very important. This is um, a little voucher for you to come on my boot camp, which is on the uh, last Sunday of every month. It's a bit of a laugh. So come on that and you'll learn how to do all of this, okay? Oh, oh thank Louise. you. Last thoughts today. <laughs> it's been amazing and it's just flown by so quickly and yeah. thank you so much. Oh, you are you most much. welcome. It's been an absolute pleasure having you in with us this morning and that is not all because we are going to also be gifting you with a festive break for two to Galway's Hotel Merrick. Perfectly located oh. in the heart of Galway <laughs> overlooking Air Square. I'm sure you know the hotel well. It's the ideal place to enjoy the Galway Continental Christmas Markets which return to the square this year from the 15th of November to the 22nd of December. So you'll be staying two nights in this stylish rooms. Breakfast each morning, a delicious lunch as well in the gas slight brasserie. So well deserved, Louise.
Who are you going to bring with thank you? Thank you. Oh, my husband. Okay. <laughs> kids left behind. Time Me. for you. Enjoy it all. And thank you all so much for joining Laura. us this morning to our expert glam squad. Now, though, it's over to Simon and Anna.